what is going on guys welcome back to another brand new division 2 video in today's video i want to showcase you guys my striker build that i have been working on for about the last three to four ish days um in total i'd probably put like maybe six and a half to seven hours of raw gameplay um into my build thus far obviously there's gonna be changes and a ton of improvements that can definitely still be made that you guys will see here in a minute um, I haven't touched the Dark Zone at all, so if you guys see the video um, on some of my rolls that are just lower-ish and they're not completely maxed out or really not even close to being maxed out, that's because I haven't really touched the Dark Zone and all of my extractions for my uh, recal table are not even really close to being uh, fully maxed out yet. Um, and I just really haven't touched the Dark Zone yet. I haven't got a chance to yet because my build isn't really where I want it to be. Uh, but I would say it's personally pretty good for the amount of time that I have put in. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys do... Make sure you guys drop a like and a subscribe channel if you guys are new and you guys want more Division 2 content. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So getting right into the video, I first off want to start off with the new Season 1 pass. Um, and the reason why this is important is because a lot of this stuff is revolving around Striker in pretty much any gear sets. And a lot of the stuff that was practically introduced um, into the game with Title Update 8. And I thought this was extremely important because you can get a lot of Striker gear from this. So uh, you guys can see that I am currently level 9. Um, the main thing that's really strange to me is that it's just 700,000 XP every time. It doesn't increase every time you rank up. It. I, I really thought it was going to be more because I know there's some people that have practically been done with um, all 100 levels of Season 1 for pretty much like the first couple of days within this release. Obviously, I don't have a lot of time to play this game, although now with this virus, should have a little bit more time. Not that that's a good thing, but overall. Um, but with the Season, you guys can see that the first time you rank up, you get a backpack. Uh, the second time, you get a mask. Third time, you get a pair of knee pads. And then right here, also, for level 4, you get the Glory Days, which is part of my build that you guys will seeing, uh, will be seeing here in a minute. And the reason why I want to showcase this is just because you can pretty much get uh, like 70 or 80% of your striker build that you guys are going for. Uh, just to start off with, for starters, for the most part, from just playing the game in general. Um, and that's not including anything else you get. So just keep that in mind. Obviously, the more you go down, there's different stuff that you can get. Different weapons, different skins, uh, in-game currency for the game to be able to buy different crates and stuff like that. And then you can get a ton of different stuff. So I just want to show you guys that. So starting with the weapons, like I just said, I am using the Glory Days Assault Rifle. This is what you get for being level 4 in the Season 1 Pass. Um, I got pretty lucky. I got decent rolls on it. Um, I got 12% assault rifle damage, which um, right now I'm not really sure what I want to do. I'm not sure if I want to take the chances and just keep on rolling and saving and recal my AR damage to max at 15%, or if I want to take the one of the attributes off and swap them to maybe I'm thinking about testing something with striker and putting extra fire rate on it. I'm not 100% sure on that, or I'm thinking about swapping one of the attributes off and putting magazine size because a 41 round mag isn't quite enough for me but for the most part they're pretty good right now but the big thing that makes this weapon super good is the talent that you guys can see if it's called perfect nearsighted receive 100 stability at the cost of 35 percent optimal range um, and the reason why i like this is because i can practically stack my weapon um, with everything that's either accuracy or i can put a ton of crit on it which is super 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 helpful because the gun has practically no recoil at all Next, moving on to my secondary weapon, I am still looking for an actual legit secondary weapon. This AUG is pretty good. I mean, it has almost 97,000 uh, damage on it. Like I said before, 10% is not very high. It's in the middle. It's not too bad, but it's not, not too good either. But the main thing is it has 15% crit, 7% magazine size, which isn't too good. Um, I think the SMG damage was like 5.5% damage before, which is why I recal it. It was just something that I got. Um, that was a decent secondary weapon compared to what I had before. So this isn't ideal for the build. Like I said, this will most likely change. Um, I'm kind of waiting until I rank up a little bit more and I get one of the named uh, MP7s or one of the named vectors, I believe it is. So uh, that'll probably be swapped out when I do actually get the level to unlock that named uh, vector. So moving on to the gear. First off, I do want to say that the, the order that everything is in in terms of uh, like the vest and the backpack... Um, I'm trying to switch those, and the reason why I say that is because uh, with the 4P Striker, you're going to get the same talents like from the bonuses in terms of what you're using for 4 pieces, um, no matter what they are. So if you're using a backpack, you're still going to get the same thing. If you're using a vest, you're going to get the same thing, and so on and so forth. So you guys understand what I'm saying. But the main thing is um, I want a piece of gear that isn't Striker for my vest, which is what I already have in my backpack. So right now I'm searching for... 
uh, right now, I guess you could say it's either of these two pieces to replace my backpack so that I can throw uh, gloves that are striker in replace of these so that I get the talent for my vest and my backpack compared to kind of just wasting away with striker. Because like I said, you're going to get the four bonuses or the bonuses from running the four piece no matter what. So for the mask, I am running a striker mask. Uh, obviously, it only has 10% weapon damage, like I said before, all the way to the very beginning of the video. Um, all of my loot extractions for my recal table are really not max, and 10% is the highest I've gotten thus far. Um, I am trying to go for a lot of damage, obviously, so uh, this is one of the main reasons why my mask has weapon damage on. I have another one all the way down here if I feel like I'm getting melted sometimes, where I just throw this on and replace it for a little bit extra damage, but... Um, I would personally trade around four to 5,000 extra weapon damage compared to only getting like 75 to 100,000 armor, but that's just me personally. So moving on to the backpack, uh, I have 145,715 armor on it. Um, I just kept armor on it because it was already rolled pretty high before this. I think it was at 125, and I, if I took this off, I'm probably down to somewhere in like the 600 to 700,000 range for armor. Although I would have probably almost 100,000 uh, weapon damage for my AR. I'd have way over 100,000 for my SMG. But I did think personally that that was going to be a little bit too low. I can test it maybe in the future in a couple days here. Or if I do find another striker backpack or something that can replace it that already has uh, pretty high weapon damage on it. But uh, for the most part, I wanted to keep at least one or two blues on my build. Especially a piece of gear that's able to roll pretty high as well. Next, moving on to the holster, we have another striker piece. 13.7% weapon damage. This is probably one of the only pieces I have that's just about fully maxed. It's only 1.3% off of the full uh, max that you can get for weapon damage on a holster. And then moving on to the knee pads, we have 14.1% weapon damage, and then we have 19.2% uh, repair skills. Um, I'm not really sure how useful that is, but I just kept it just straight up because it was almost maxed off already. So uh, this is probably one of the best pieces I've gotten so far in terms of everything almost being maxed out. Moving on to the two high-end pieces, we have a Fenris pair of gloves with 11.5% weapon damage, 6.7% skill damage, and 7.1% hazard protection. I'm really thinking with, like, I don't know what it is about Title Up to 8, but I just feel like everything that shoots at me and everything that gets thrown at me and explodes just always catches me on fire for, like, legit no reason at all. Sometimes I don't even see stuff get thrown at me or hurt. I just randomly catch on fire for no reason. And it really irritates me, so I'm thinking about trying to even farm even more uh, to try to max out all of my hazard protections so that I'm not catching on fire every second, especially since I don't really have any health, so as soon as my armor's gone, I practically know that I'm dead for the most part, so... Uh, I, th I am thinking about specking into a ton of hazard protection in the future. And then moving on to the vest. This is one of the only pieces that I guess is kind of set for my build for right now. Unless I either find uh, something that's Gilgar that's better in terms of roles or talents. Or I'm able to swap out the same uh, brand set for the backpack. But that would require me to find obviously a pair of striker gloves to replace that as well. Which I have but they're not the best right now. Um, so on the vest I have 12.3% weapon damage. 13.7% uh, 13, 13 repair damage, 15,000 armor on kill, and 9% weapon handling. I have a lot of stuff to have weapon handling. Um, I don't know if you guys have been specking into this or trying to get like a build that has like an insane amount of weapon handling. Not really sure how useful it is for SMGs and ARs. Um, if you guys have, have a ton of this and you guys have it on your build, let me know how useful it is. But I just I really don't care about weapon handling at this point. Just mostly getting as much damage as I can for weapons, whether it's weapon damage crit hit crit damage doesn't matter what it is or armor on kill i'm trying to get as much as i possibly can also i almost forgot to show you guys my mods um, on my backpack i have a offensive mod on it already so i have the crit hit damage at 9.1 percent i don't know what the max is for this but it's got to be pretty close i don't know the bar only shows that's halfway but i can't imagine that you can get 15 percent crit hit damage because that would be pretty insane i feel like it's 10 percent but i'm not 100 sure you guys can let me know on that and then on my vest, I have 14,989 armor on kill. This is the best defensive mod that I've gotten so far, and it is armor on kill, so it's pretty much useful for PvP and PvE. And that's probably, I haven't really got anything that's better. Protection from elites, I guess, could help if you're doing uh, heroic or challenging missions or something like that. But armor on kill is probably the best thing that I've gotten so far. Well, guys, that is going to about do it for the video. Um, I know this build isn't, like, crazy good, um, but it is a overly average good uh build at least in my opinion for the amount of time that i've put into it because i don't really have a lot of time these days to be able to just sit back and farm and just play for like 10 hours straight like i was able to do before which kind of sucks 
Um, and I thought it was pretty good. I mean, for me, I play solo for the most part usually, and if I do play with someone, it's usually only one other person. And when we do, we're usually playing uh, like hard missions or challenging missions. Um, not something that's super easy and is a waste of time. And I don't really find myself just getting insta-killed or just absolutely fried um, by any enemies, whether they're veterans or elites. And I personally feel like I kill pretty fast. If you guys are watching the streams, you guys have probably seen this build and use for the past day and a half to two-ish days now. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any recommendations for the build or any builds you guys want to see me go for. Um, it just seems like variations of Striker right now are kind of like the most common used uh, builds in the game as of right now because a lot of people are going one of two ways either a raw damage build like this uh, for striker or they're just going an absolute like tank build with true patriot or something and I don't know what it is with builds like that I've just never been a fan of just having like a ton of health and armor and just not being able to really do any damage I just don't personally see the point of it I guess if you're trying to just have survivability in general than it is but for me I've just never been a fan of it. I'd rather do a lot more damage and get shredded by everyone than just do no damage and sit there and be useless. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. There's a ton of work still that needs to be done this build, so that's the reason why I'm showing you guys this build right now, so that you guys can get an idea of what to build off, um, and then also so you guys can see my build get better over time as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like and a subscribe channel if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.